with the family. We got Roland over there driving. And Gio in the back with Mom and Pop. Say hi. hi. <laughs> got a long road ahead of us. Mighty Beaver Car Wash. I'm gonna get some gas over here at the Chevron. stopped and ate at the Timberline restaurant right next to the Beaver Car Wash and we're about to head back on our trip and over to Pro our hotel in Provo. Hi honey! <laughs> back over to the freeway from the Timberline Cafe where we ate. <coughs>
looks like you can get beaver tacos here and for free. <laughs> Sweets. We made it. Yep. That is our hotel. Nice Looks looking like hotel. Also a Best Western right next to it. Okay, well we'll see what it looks like inside. Time to check in. 
Okay, well, we have checked in. They allowed early check in. Uh, it's only about a half an hour early. But Are we taking we're the big ice chest in, right? Getting ready to take our stuff up. All right, they allowed a side door. They said led to the elevators. They do have a laundry. Looks like for they do it, I'm not sure. Associates only, okay. Exercise room, open 24 hours. Nice. This is the lobby. Very nice. Okay, there's the elevators. We found them. Push the button, Gio. I can hear the swimming pool. Oh, apparently there's a pool right there. Looks like. We have jacuzzi? There's a Push the button again. Okay, we're looking for room 222. Looks like it's this way. Here we are. Very nice. Yeah. Toilet room separate from a bathroom. Nice. Te gusta? Very nice. Yeah. See that, Gio, at the bottom? Yeah. Well, if you pull that out and it's a bed. Looks like a bunch of old signs. There's Elvis and Marilyn over there. Old gas station signs. Like, I don't know, it looks like people could uh, park in there for the RVs. It's kind of cool. But I'll prefer the trees with the shade. Yes, Utah Lake State Park also has a campground, but we can't go check it out unless we want to pay the fee. And it's kind of late in the day, so. We're just going to skip that for now, but it looks like a nice area and we'll definitely want to come back. Right over here on the other side of these signs though, there is another uh, campground spot though called Lakeside Campground and it looks pretty nice.
University. One day you'll be playing football in there. You work welcome. hard enough, study hard enough. This is the baseball field. It's all part of it over there. It's huge. Looks like the dorms and stuff. headed out we're gonna make a stop at Bridal Falls before heading to Wyoming and we are leaving Provo there's University Parkway that we're turning on and made a little wrong turn but we wanted to check out some of the scenery anyway there we go, now we're back on track to head to the falls. Turn right onto North Freedom. The morning sunrise, well, a little past the sunrise now, but still very beautiful over the mountains. Bridal Falls. And there 
it is absolutely beautiful so pretty amazing so pretty very very pretty It's a little cold out here. Mom and Dad aren't wanting to get out. There's the wind's blowing and it's early in the 50s. For us Vegas people, that's really cold. Okay, we are at Bridal Veil Falls, Provo, Utah. Stopped and got some pictures. There's a nice paved trail just to come up closer to the falls, which is where we are now. We're gonna take a walk back to the car. It's really cold. But worth it, definitely worth the stop. It's so beautiful. Mom and Pops were too cold to do this, so Roland stayed over with them. But of course, Gio and I, we had to take the little trip over. It's not too far. Just look how beautiful it is. Would love to explore here some more, but we have a long trip in front of us another seven hour drive so we couldn't spend too long here but we definitely want to come back to Provo and we'll come back here again and spend some more time They have little places where you can walk right on down. Cute little bridge to cross over. As you can see, this is definitely worth the stop. So you come to Provo, make sure you stop here. Back to the car and we're off on the road again.